Want to know five reasons to move to South Roanoke? Stay tuned. tuning in. I'm Hal Cohn. And I'm Chris Cohn. We're with Cohn Realty Group. If this is your first time to our channel. Please make sure you click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you're notified each and every time that we release a new video here on this channel about living, working, and playing in the amazing Roanoke Valley. That's right. We love this place so much and we want to share that with others. We have folks constantly contacting us saying that them or their family wants to move to or within Roanoke, Salem, and Botetai. And we're here just to give you some tips and have that conversation conversation with you. So if we can help you in any way, please give us a call, send us an email, or shoot us a text. And we will get in touch. So a great reason to live in South Roanoke is going to be some of the amazing restaurants. Mm -hmm. So the culinary opportunities you have here are pretty diverse. It is. It's really neat. Right now we're in a place that's hard to find but impossible to leave. That's their motto. It's called Fork in the Alley and it's a really special place. You can see how quaint and fun it is. It's really tucked in. But they were the first restaurant in Roanoke to be certified green. Yeah, so they are locally sourced food and they've got this amazing brick oven. That's their preferred yes. method of cooking because they feel like that captures the best taste of the food that you're gonna eat. And then if you look right here as we're passing by up through the alley, this is our good friends, Levi and Brunella. They own Pastel, which is a, they make from scratch cupcakes, brownies. I always mess this one up, but Alpha Jores, which are a special Ooh, Peruvian yeah. type of cookie. And uh, they're always experimenting and trying to bring new flavors and a diverse array of sweetness to your life. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And you can see behind us this fork in the alley bar and also seating area that's shared. It's just such a nice place to hang out on a summer or spring or even fall evening. And that's one thing that we love about Virginia. Roanoke here, we have four seasons, but it's quite comfortable year round. Yeah. And so you can sit out here here and enjoy some brewskis. Whenever football season finally makes it around again, yeah. you can watch some football games, you can watch basketball games, soccer, you name it. But it's just a fun place to hang out with the community here in South Roanoke. So behind us right here is gonna be the famous or soon to be famous uh, River and Rail restaurant where they do Southern Bistro style cuisine. Yes, and it, they feature a lot of locally sourced foods, and it's just an amazing place. If you come to Roanoke, you've got to try River and Rail. It's one of our favorite restaurants for sure. A very fun atmosphere, delicious food. You just can't beat that locally sourced food. It makes a difference in the quality. It does, and they do house cured meats. They do house made condiments of all things. Oh, wow. And then recently, we actually came here for a celebration, and we had some champagne but then you, you know what we had with that champagne you're never gonna guess <laughs> because this is typical us right in our personalities we had homemade fried pork rinds they were so good it was like the best pork rinds if you can make pork rinds fancy that's what river and rail did for us <laughs> it was it did. fantastic and historically speaking i remember life's pharmacy as you can kind of see that from uh, the side of the building but i remember life's pharmacy when i was a kid and to see it transformed into this beautiful restaurant is just a really good reuse of this space and again we're here in the historic south roanoke village there you go. Yes. Well done. <laughs> so we are in front of Sweet Donkey here, which we're calling this the gateway to the historic South Roanoke Village because when you see this iconic 1922 house that they actually have Sweet Donkey inside of, you're going to know you're almost in the South Roanoke Village. Right, and it's really a gathering spot for the whole community. In the summer and spring and even fall, you can find live music here on the weekends, food trucks here sometimes, and whole families come out and really enjoy this spot. So the building is used throughout as a coffee shop and gathering place and the coffee is just fantastic. I always get, see, there's <laughs> proof. Um, I always get their vanilla latte but instead of vanilla sometimes I get their turmeric and ginger latte which is just sensational. Heavenly huh? It is, yeah. yeah. Good for the soul. All right so another great reason for you to live 
in South Roanoke is going to be the fact that you can walk to work. And where are they going to walk to work over here primarily? Oh my gosh, Carillion Hospital is right here. It's And it's hard to believe. Do you see how beautifully tree-lined these streets are with the beautiful crepe myrtles? Mm -hmm. And you feel this historic charm of this area and yeah you could just walk to work in this very pleasant pleasant way it's like a 10 minute or less walk and i mean there are some mm -hmm. rentals over here but primarily you're going to be a homeowner in a uh, historic neighborhood and you're going to be able to walk to work walk to restaurants so it's really walkable yes when i bet if you look at walkability <laughs> score it would be a good one <laughs> but i mean even this morning while we've been out filming there are lots of people that have been walking their dogs right. walking their kids like fishing the strollers around biking and everything biking so you name it, but you'll be able to bike, you can walk, however you want to get to Carillion. If you're mm -hmm. going to work in at Carillion or going to school at Carillion, then you can walk there. And yeah. that's great for the environment too, right? It is. And just remember, Carillion is one of our top employers in the mm -hmm. area. You can check out our video on top Roanoke employers to get a better feel for it. But Carillion is a great place to work here in the Valley and it employs quite a few of our Roanokers. It does. And, and keep your health up by walking to work whenever you get a job there and you move here. And when you get ready to move here, call us. <laughs> So, another thing that people are always concerned about when they're looking for a new neighborhood is going to be schools. Mm -hmm. And you know, we always recommend you go to niche.com so that you can yes. do all your research that you need to do so you can make the appropriate decision for you and your family. And today we are in front of Crystal Spring Elementary here in South Roanoke. And they got an A- minus on niche.com. But that's still, I mean, that's still pretty darn good. I mean, that's amazing. That's an exceptional rating for sure. Mm -hmm. And I remember, you know, I'm native to Roanoke. I did go to school here in Roanoke City and I remember going a lot of my friends came to Crystal Spring as in their elementary years and they loved it and they were such good friends mm -hmm. they really had close bonds with one another and so as you go around South Roanoke area and when you move here you'll know it's just a really close-knit community yeah. people really know one another they look out for one another so you get that community feel but what I love about this school is that it is literally tucked into the neighborhood so you you can, you can walk to school, you can bike to school, you can pick up your kids from school without even hopping in the car. And uh, that just seems so 19, what, 50s? 50s, yeah, 60s. I think so. Like whenever you could like actually walk through the snow for miles at a time <laughs> to get to school. You don't have to do that here. I mean, it does snow here a little bit, of course. However, if you're walking to school, you can actually, and you like to do that, and you can bring the whole family. And we see people all the time we're in this neighborhood that on a school morning where you've got the moms and the dads and the little right. kids and the elementary school kids and they're all just walking around and making it to school. You got crosswalks, you got crossing guards. So it's a fun place to be when it comes to actually getting to and from school. Right, and the neighbors say it feels like a very safe community, so they're comfortable with their children walking to and from school, unassisted or sometimes just with friends. Yeah, or even taking their bike. Yeah. If you're looking for more reasons to move and live in South Roanoke, well, one of them that you're going to enjoy is going to be the outdoor amenities and activities that you have access to here in South Roanoke. So you, behind me, you've got tennis courts. Over this way, you've got the Greenway. And then in front of us, what do you have? We have soccer fields and acres and acres and acres of softball fields, soccer fields, all right in front of the hospital too. So just lots of opportunity to get outside, be active, and it's just adjacent to South Roanoke here. Um, trails, we talked about how walkable South Roanoke is, but the trails system, the Greenway system, and then actually you can hike all the way up to Mill Mountain which is a really neat place. Yeah, and also there's a put-in canoe or boat launch mm -hmm. area right off the Greenway, right by the hospital too. So like we've told you multiple times, walkable, and it's a place that you can hang out and play Frisbee, you can walk the dogs. We've seen tons of people out today doing that. And uh, I just saw a lady go across the field here that we saw in the actual village a little bit earlier. So she's been out walking for over an hour or so this morning with her dogs. So. Right, lots of bike riding too. I mean, the, our Greenway stay really active. And speaking of activity, we talked about Mill Mountain. Well, you know, that's where our star is up there that was erected in 1949 and it's the largest man-made star it's really iconic to Roanoke and it's we're called the star city that's one of our nicknames because of this giant illuminated man-made star it's just beautiful at night but up on Mill Mountain you can also find not only the star and overlooks but you can find hiking trails that 
that are really easy, kid-friendly. And then you have a discovery center, you have a wildlife trail, and also a zoo, which is really fun. And a panoramic view of the amazing Roanoke Valley that we always talk about. So you can check out the beauty and splendor of the valley below from up top. So there you go. Lots of options for outdoor activities for you and friends and family to just hang out and enjoy the great outdoors during our four amazing seasons in Roanoke Valley, especially from your new home in South Roanoke. Okay, so if you're looking to move here, you're either gonna rent or you're gonna buy. And if you're wanting to buy here in South Roanoke, another great thing about living in South Roanoke or choosing this area is the fact that you have options for houses that are gonna be architecturally interesting and not just a vanilla type of house. That's right, it's, you're definitely not gonna find a subdivision here. There's the variety of housing styles and types. We're gonna just walk a, a few, you'll get to see a few homes here, but every, literally every block and and South Roanoke is a little different. You've got not many ranches, but you, you have a variety of ranches and then some grand estates. So it's, and we saw one that was huge with all the pillars and just, a, like he said, a variety of styles. And so there's something for everyone here. A very stately home is what that one stately, was. Stately, thank you. And if you look right back here behind us, that was pretty stately too. Mm -hmm. And it's got a detached garage and great garden space. So these are the type of houses that you can find here in South Roanoke. And you're looking at, now for this house, definitely not 275. But you got some <laughs> houses in South Roanoke, they're gonna be $275,000. And you've got some, they're gonna be over $1 million. Yes. So you've got a wide array of opportunities. You've got a couple of areas that have a few townhouses. Mm -hmm. You've got, but mostly single family homes around here. Yes. And you can find one that's gonna tickle your fancy <laughs> and meet the needs of your move when you when you come here and decide to live in South Roanoke. And a lot of neat um, topography too. So there's some flat area and you could be closer into the historic South Roanoke village or you could go up high on the mountain and the Have topography really amazing changes. Amazing views up there. Yeah, and you can get a great view of the star, our beautiful mountains and everything. So again, like he said, we can't reiterate enough lots of variety here you'll just have to drive around have us tour you around that's what I'm saying. And we can tour them around that's right. Be right driving around Let us Let's tour you around on. yeah lots of great homes to choose from in South Roanoke so we certainly hope that you enjoyed those five reasons to live in South Roanoke. Yeah, it's a great place to live. Hopefully you'll put, keep that one on your list. And if you have any questions about South Roanoke, Roanoke, Salem, or Botetourt, we would love to answer those questions. Just give us a call, send us a text or an email, and we'll gladly answer your call and find out how we can help you. Make sure you look below. We've got a Calendly link so that you can schedule a Zoom call ASAP, as well as an opportunity for you to subscribe to our newsletter. Yes. We'll send you some information twice a month about the Roanoke Valley and real estate. So have a blessed day. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Discovery Center too. Yeah and if this is your first time to our channel thanks for subscribing. Uh, <laughs>